Marcus Johnson was here yes. from the Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union charting the light on local minority owned businesses because this happens to be National Black, Black Business, Business Month. Month. Yes. And we thought, well, that's not fair. TVFCU can't have all the fun. <laughs> so we asked Marcus to come back and highlight another business. Last week we had Bonner's uh, Accounting yep. Services, yep. right? Bonner's Consulting. This week you brought some food. Yes, <laughs> yes. Had to bring some food, spice it up a little bit, literally. This is uh, Brandon Ellis. Brandon Ellis, yes. Who yes. has Chatterbox Barbecue here in town, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And Brandon, as with everything else in Chattanooga, one connection seems to lead to another. You know, we right. people laugh and say that we're a big, small town. Right. So right. here you are uh, being spotlighted by the credit union this month, mm -hmm. but your relationship with Marcus and his team actually began through a program they have called the Leap. Idea Leap. Idea Leap. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So what happened was uh, Brandon started working with Colab uh, back when he was trying to really get into the phase of growing his business. Uh, and then through that relationship with Colab, uh, was then introduced to the Community Foundation. And both of those organizations, Colab and the Community Foundation, have partnered up with us through our Idea Leap loan program that we use to help finance startup and early stage businesses. And so Brandon was fortunate enough to come through that program. That's when we connected almost about a year ago. And I've been fortunate enough to be a part of his journey of, of growing his business. So I want to talk about your journey in a minute. Okay. But first, let's focus on the business. Okay. You said some of these uh, recipes, because you have these rubs that are for sale. Yes, Yes, um, our family to a degree, but then you've added your own touch. Yes, ma'am. Uh, pretty much everything I cook derives from something that I experienced as a kid. Uh, all my recipes uh, pretty much start off with the base of something that I had then and, and added my own flair to it. So I would have thought that this is a pork. Uh, these are pork ribs, but they're not. No, this these is beef. here are beef short ribs. Uh, these are like a ribeye on a bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that's a T-shirt right yeah, there. You don't. It doesn't get any better than this when it comes to to smoked meats. So, so what you've done at Chatterbox is you have kind of a stationary unit that's mm -hmm. at the corner of Hickory Valley and Shallowford. Yes, ma'am. But then, if I'm understanding you correctly, when COVID hit mm -hmm. and people's ways of getting out and enjoying time together shifted, mm -hmm. you literally were the mountain coming to Muhammad. Yes, ma'am. Where Muhammad went to the mountain, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. So what have you begun to do? Uh, right now, we're doing a lot of stuff with uh, neighborhoods and businesses. Um, during the uh, social distancing, a lot of folks are staying home or having to work in secluded areas. Uh, so we've uh, been contracted to bring our, our unit out uh, to neighborhoods to clubhouses, to leasing departments and apartment complexes uh, to serve the community. Uh, they advertise to their, uh, to their community that we're coming. Sometimes they give them discounts on the food that they purchase from us uh, and cover the difference. Uh, but whatever it may be, uh, they have us come out, the families come out, purchase their food, take it back home or, or wherever they may go to enjoy it. Um, but it allows them to kind of stay close to the house not have to really venture out into too much of the public, um, and we get to get our product out as well. There's a phrase in TV called, don't bury the lead. Mm -hmm. So here I have y'all out here with me this morning, and I'm burying the lead, mm -hmm. Brandon, mm -hmm. because I'm staring at this food, <laughs> and we haven't cut into it yet. Okay. You said that Let's you made this for yourself it. over the weekend, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. So you do the honors. Should okay. I pass you the knife here? Okay. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll come around the table, and I'll the hold the microphone for you. We'll play like Food Network here. Okay. All right. So you don't have to cut that on a diagonal. No, ma'am. This here is uh, <gasps> oh, man. is uh, as tender as it's going to get. I'll race you, Marcus. Hey, this is the best <laughs> breakfast anybody can get. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do today is, uh, you know, I love smoking meats, but I like incorporating my meats into things that we already enjoy. And uh, since it's morning, uh, who doesn't love a good biscuit? Right. And I should tell people that Marcus is originally from a little town in Kentucky, so you're mixing some Tennessee barbecue with some Kentucky flavorings, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm from Kentucky. Uh, Marcus is from Philly. That's what I meant. I meant Brandon. Uh, Sorry. But yeah. I was looking at Marcus. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, okay, I'm noticing something. You're adding the fat in with that when you serve yours. Does yes, that give it the nice that. flavor? Thank you, brother. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The fat is uh, it's not typically mm. like you would associate fat with. Uh, this good. fat has rendered down quite a bit. Uh, it's tender. It's not going to uh, It's not gonna feel like what you would think. I beat you to it. You did. Oh, you win man. the game. 
And I don't have any napkins to offer you, so be careful of your white shirt. No, I'm going to make sure I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Brandon has the gloves. That's not quite fair. All right, here, I'm going to give you your no, microphone okay. back. Right. So I want, I'm going to cut into mine in a minute. Okay. But okay. before I do, I mentioned that I would tell people your story. So I'm going to set you up and you can tell as much as you want. Okay. But right. in this time when a lot of us are having kind of some struggles, right? I mean, COVID has dealt us all a sucker punch mm -hmm. to the gut. Mm -hmm. And it'd be real easy to think, I can't, I can't see a light at mm -hmm. the end of the tunnel. You could very well, Brandon, be a light for yes, some people. You went through a hard time of your own. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, I came to Chattanooga in 2006 uh, from a small town in Kentucky called Franklin. Um, I like to joke around and tell people that there's only three things you can do there. You can either farm, uh, work at a factory, or be a convicted felon. Um, but uh, through some choices that I made, uh, I found myself facing 43 years in prison. I was given the opportunity to come to Teen Challenge, uh, which is a local uh, Christian discipleship program, second chance facility uh, for people like myself. Um, so I came here and uh, went through the program in 2006, uh, graduated in 2007, and uh, you know started my entrepreneurial career here in Chattanooga with a janitorial service and a few other things that have ultimately led me to cooking barbecue. Uh, I enjoy what I do because it allows me to tie back to to my times growing up as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, we spent a lot of time around the kitchen table. Uh, I remember my grandmother waking up at five o'clock in the morning to start cooking dinner. Uh, wow, just to boil the, five o'clock yeah. in the morning to begin cooking dinner. <laughs> I mean, she would boil the water to cook her greens. You know, she'd boil the water with the meat in it for hours before she actually put the greens in. So it was like a, it was a, it was a huge part of my life. Yeah. Uh, that happened around the kitchen and food and uh, you know, Chatterbox allows me to share my story through that. Well, um, and, and you're not sitting behind a desk. You no know, you're out in the community meeting people and talking, and God can find a way to use all of those yes, stories yes, for good. Yes, so thanks for being willing to share Thank it you. Thanks for coming, with Brandon. us this morning. Mm -hmm. So now back to the TVFCU connection yes. here. Mm -hmm. You are spotlighting these different businesses, six of them as I remember. Yes, absolutely. How can people find out more about Marcus? Is he on your website? Do have a link uh, to yes, that? so what we're going to be doing is I releasing keep calling him Marcus, uh, he's Brandon. Brandon's video. Uh, he his video will be released this Friday on our Facebook and our YouTube channel, um, and then you can visit his website, uh, Chatterbox Four Two Three. Um, he's always out there uh, cooking and barbecuing, so just go check him out. And be sure if you are thinking about beginning a business of your own, if you're looking for any kind of a banking need, honestly, Marcus came to shot to uh, spotlight Brandon and the other yes. businesses. But you love helping people. Absolutely, all the absolutely, and, and Brandon has been a beneficiary of our Idea Leap Loan program. Uh, and it's just really been fun to see how he has been able to thrive uh, and, and really transition through this pandemic and service customers. Okay, it's my turn to dig in. If Go I had get done it, it before, Go my lipstick would have smeared right off. <laughs> so right. Uh, these we don't have on the menu uh, all the time. However, this weekend, this Saturday, we're going to be serving these. So if anybody wants to come by and try them. Okay. Also, uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, uh, we have our rib special that we run every week. Um, we have a full slab of ribs and two large sides for $30. Uh, normally, wow. a full slab of ribs with us is $32. Wow, and so you're, you're getting, getting two. a full slab and two large sides, which is about a $50 deal uh, for $30 if you come in and mention that you saw us on 3 plus. All right, so it's okay. shadowbox423.com. That's the website. Mm -hmm. From there, you can find information about his YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook. You'll always find him at 6801 at the corner of Hickory Valley and Shallowford yes, Road. Mm -hmm. Salute to you. Thank you. Let me go grab my lipstick. <laughs> We're back in a minute. Thank you. Seems like CBD stores are popping up on every corner. Make sure you choose a knowledgeable vendor you can trust, like the Hemp House. Choose from products that are locally sourced from farmers we work with directly.